tonight on Focal Point. There's been a protest because there's the threat of the potential closure of the primary school and neither the parents, pupils and the local community want the school to close. This is effectively policy from the Department of Education now. Um, they're faced with massive budget cuts um, and policy now is to amalgamate schools. Well if they combine the three schools and oversubscribe two primary school units, which is what they want to do, they will jeopardise my child's future. It's, it's not nice news, obviously when you've been told about one of your siblings has this, has, has this disease. Many of days obviously were spent in the hospital nights staying over and had to be admitted a few times with um, infection things and chicken pox and stuff like that. But um, definitely everything was, was made very welcome for it. The festival is for up and coming and emerging photographers. The main festival has happened twice so far. Each year there has been a fringe festival that's run alongside it. This year we have eight exhibitions, from exhibitions being hosted by current students to independent artists. Can you tell us what's going on down at Donegal Road Primary School today? Um, yes, there's been a protest because there's the threat of the potential closure of the primary school and neither the parents, pupils and the local community want the school to close because we deem it as being the heart and soul of the community. The Education Authority have put together a proposal of trying to amalgamate three schools in South Belfast, Fian Street, Blyfield and Donegal Road Primary School. Um, so they started their consultation process and basically the parents in our school in Donegal Road are not happy at all. Donegal Road is the heart and soul of this community. Our kids love this school. Um, I mean, generations of, of kids have been going to, to the school here and it would just rip the heart and soul right out of the community if it was to close. Our kids don't have an awful lot else in here at the moment. At the moment we're starting to make noise. We think at the minute before our proposal goes ahead that we would like people to hear our side of the story before we are in the same boat as Avondale Primary School and being closed down within months of a decision. We're faced with similar situations in West Belfast with schools in Twinbrook, St Marks and St Luke's are being pushed to amalgamate and residents there have been given no guarantees as to whether there's going to be any job losses, as to whether the classroom sizes are going to increase, as to whether PFIs are going to be used. And I'm just over to show support to residents in the village and it's great to see people getting organised and getting mobilised to fight against these cuts. What reasons have you been given by the Education Board about this decision or what have they told you so far? They have told us that there is 880 unfilled primary places in South Belfast between the three schools. One school's capacity is known at 500 and they are currently running under 80 pupils, which is Blyfield Primary. Fane Street is running about 234 pupils, including their nursery and on paper they're supposed to house over 400 pupils which is not possible in that old school building. At the minute we're running with 219 pupils and our building can't really take much more than that but they say that there's 800 unfilled places so they need to amalgamate the schools to reduce that number. They're talking about amalgamating um, three local primary schools um, into one new super school but in order to do that one school has to actually close its doors and all signs are pointing to it being Donegal Road. Maybe we are reading too much into it, but the way we see it is all signs are pointing to Donegal Road. When we ask any questions, we're running up against brick walls. We're not getting any straight answers. And we've asked about the other two schools, and we keep being told, oh, they're listed buildings. So because the, the site here in Donegal Road is so small, we deem it that this is the one that's earmarked for closure, and we are not happy with that. And why do you think the emerging of the three schools is the wrong decision? We don't think that the, the merger of the three schools is a wrong decision. What we want is a site to be found for this new school, the money to be made available, the new school built and then all three schools can be closed. We don't agree with one school being closed before even the money has been um, raised for the new super school. And how will this decision affect the kids' education? Well, if they combine the three schools and oversubscribe two primary school units, which is what they want to do, they will jeopardise my child's future at this minute for the child of 10 years down the line. So they're going to oversubscribe the classes and the schools in the meantime. So that t the kids in 10 years' time, that's fine, they'll have a lovely super school, but it's my daughter's education on the line at the minute, and I'm not going to have that, and I don't think any of the parents here today will either. This decision has kind of been in conversation for up to 15 years. Why do you think it's now that the Education Board have began to do the consultations? I honestly don't know. I sat on the Board of Governors when my son was at Donegal Road and as I say, like, they had a site 
um, at the back of the city hospital. All they had to do was the money. I don't know for whatever reason they lost the site. Um, they didn't go ahead with it. I don't know why it's rearing it, its ugly head again now when they don't even have a site for the school. If they had a site and the money to build the school, they could probably sell this an awful lot better you know, to the people of the community. When you have a child who has autism or ADHD, you know, when you take something out of their normal routine and say, we're going to close your school and move you, that's it, their world comes crumbling down. And Donegal Old Primary School at the minute has a lot of special needs kids and we run that. Tain Street don't and Blyfield might not, but we do. And we want to make sure our special needs kids, as well as our normal kids, are looked after. And why do you think it's good for you to come over from West Belfast to South Belfast to show the support? Why should other parts of Belfast get involved with the protest? Because we're faced with these cuts right across the board. So Avenue in East Belfast, Avenue Primary School is faced with closure. Parents have ever been told they've got a week to defend their kids' new schools. In West Belfast, we have the same situation. Right across the board, there's going to be massive cuts to education. We're talking 1,500 job losses. Um, this is uh, coming from Minister John O'Dowd. So we need to have uh, solidarity right across the city and we need to get organised uh, at a grassroots level to push back these cuts. We don't want to see any school closing. The parents and the pupils of the other two schools don't want to see their school closing either. It would be an inconvenience to them. So the solution that I see is get the site, get the money, build a new school and then close all three.